Hi guys, Angie Bell with my fairy treasures. All right, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Okay, where we left off was, had I done some of the hair already? No, I was gonna, okay, we, what we left off was, is we had done, we had did, just kidding, we had done her face and the body um, as far as like, you know, shading and coloring it all in. So the next thing we're going to do is work on the hair. Well, you can see that I already got a start, a head start on the hair. And I, I like to do that for the sake of the video. Okay. Cause if not, we can be here all day, especially with doing hair like this. Cause this takes time. Okay. So let me see the colors I'm using. Just a second. I have them right here. I just got to see the order of the colors. Okay, so I'm using, um, to do this type of hair, I'm using violet, and these are all color, uh, Prismacolor premieres. Uh, the Orchid, um, Process Red, and then Jane Davenport's Kiss Kiss. So I have Jane Davenport mixed in with my Prismacolor pencils, because I love her pencils too. Well, you guys know, I love all her stuff. Okay, so let's do some of the hair. And let me get in the order of what I'm doing. Okay, here we go. So I'm using this color here, which is what? Orchid. And you go so far and then go from the other end. Okay, and then we'll go with, I think this is Process Red. And Process Red is not red. It's like a real pretty magenta color. Okay. And then we'll go with um, the Kiss Kiss by Jane Davenport. Okay, and then I leave a little white space in there because once we're gonna, once you blend out, this will be a really, really pale pink, and then we'll hit it with some white. Um, but before we do that, let's take um, <clears throat> the dark violet and just go right in the very tippy corner and just darken that up just a little bit. I've seen people do this with black too, so that's another another thing you could do. Um, then we're going to blend, we're going to burnish it, all this together. Okay. So everything blends together, but let me get my pencil sharpener. Okay. Also, let me check my camera, make sure the damn thing didn't turn off. Okay. <gasps> Very good. I unloaded my, I deleted my last video and a bunch of pictures. So hopefully it doesn't just turn off. I think that's the problem I'm thinking. All right. So burnishing it, I'm taking a blender pencil and I get these, um, well, this is an, um, artist loft one, but you can also get them at Blix and, uh, they're great. So you can just take your pencil and do this and blend. So blend it into the next color, and then after you do that, though, go ahead and wipe your pencil off, just so it doesn't get, so you can, like, when you get to this color here, your your your, your actual color, after you blend it, when you get into the next color, you want to be able to have that to be kind of clean, not get too dark, so. You guys probably can't see it. I just have a little piece of paper over here on the side that I. And this hair, yes, it does take a little longer to do this technique with hair, but I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So I'm willing to take the time that it takes for it. And then I take white right in the center here. 
because this gives a nice little highlight. Try to do everything. There we go. All right, so what we're going to do is just repeat again, repeat the same process. That was orchid. Now we're going with process red. I remember I hadn't discovered this process red color. I had never even used it, but I was watching some girls who do who color, and they were using this process red. And I'm like, okay, why have I not used that? It's like the most beautiful magenta color. And then this is the Kiss Kiss by Jane Davenport. And you want to use like a medium, light medium pressure, not super light because you want to put a lot of uh, uh, color onto whatever you're coloring. You want to put, a, you want to lay down a lot of uh, pencil um, so that you can come in and start burnishing it all together. There are other techniques where people do this same type of stuff, but they do very light, light uh, blending. They do very, very light um, they don't lay a lot of color down at one time. They just keep doing light, 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 light over and over and over. Um, so you can do that too. I just don't have patience for that. So when I learned this technique where you use the blender pencil and burnish everything together, I was like, yes, please. Because I, I always use my blender pencil anyway. The blender pencil is the way that you don't have to sit there and do 20 million light layers over and over and over. But some people like that and they like the process of that. They like the look of it. So, you know, do what works for you. Okay. Oh, and then I can deepen the corners just a little bit with a little bit of with a little bit of the violet. So this is a violet color by Prismacolor Premier. Okay, so let's go to our next section here. Let me see if you guys can see this or not, the skin right here. No, I'll just when I get to it. I also started working on the skin. Remember I told you I would throw like some, sh uh, sh um, some different like, uh, I would throw some color on the skin. Whatever the color in the hair is, I'll throw some on the skin so it looks like it's kind of, the color's kind of bouncing off the skin. I think that looks pretty. So, and I did some of that already and we'll do some together in this video. So you just keep working both sides until you meet in the middle. Okay, now let's burnish. And burnishing just means blend. <laughs> But I, was, I forgot who I was watching, and um, she does this type of hair all the time on all, on all when she does coloring, and um, she said burnishing, and I'm like, ooh, I like that. Guess what I feel like I'm doing when I'm blending with the pencil? I feel like I'm burnishing, so... Okay, so right in the center here, let's create some white. In fact, you know what? I'm going to just right in the center, I'm going to remove some of the color because just real lightly. So it kind of covered it up too much. It's a small, it's a small little uh, 
the small little strands, so it's kind of hard to kind of detect exactly how far to go in on each side. But as you can see, with pencil, it's cool. You just can erase if you mess up. Same thing with using the um, these uh, pastels, Jane Cavenport's pastels. If you mess up, you can just um, erase. So, okay, let me see where we're at. Oh, that looks so pretty. Let me look at the time. Okay, we're doing good. And then um, add a little bit of the uh, dark, this violet color here right in the corners. And I'm not even worrying about blending it in. I'm just adding a, deepening it just a little bit. Okay. Um, okay, let's just keep going. You know what? I'm going to take care of all three of these strands at one time. They're all small. And then I can just get it all done at one time. And then we'll get on to doing some, um, doing the, uh, the mermaid tail. Also doing some, some other stuff on the body, which I'll show you in a second. Okay. Um, next. Our pink, our lightest color here. Okay, so let's burnish everything together. I'm just going all I'm just going straight across. I'm gonna just lighten this up a little bit here in the center. There we go. Because when you burnish, of course, it makes you know it, it burnishes it and blends it out. So um, I it just got it's got too much color there in the center. You want to leave the center so it has some white in it, not completely. Um, You want to leave it light. You don't want it to get too dark in the center because that's where you have that shine at. And I'm going to bring the white in now. Fabulous. Okay, you know what? I just need to darken this up right here a little bit more. Okay, and then let's take our... Um, Violet here, and just kind of just deepen it a little bit there, just a little bit. Let me see how this looks in the camera. That looks good. Okay, just a second. If you can't get a color to blend out, like right here between the purple and the light, I wanted this to blend out a little bit more. Just add a little white on top. Whenever you see anything not blending, you can create a third color that can blend those two colors together if you just take a white pencil and just kind of lightly go on top of it. So just a little trick. Look how gorgeous the hair looks. I think that looks fabulous. Okay, so let's go to the body. Let me bring this like here. Oh, 
Sorry. My stupid camera just fell on me. Okay. There we go. So the hair looks gorgeous. Okay. So on the skin, um, I, um, just blend this out a little bit more. On the skin, I just bounced a little bit of um, this, like the pink that's everywhere. I bounced a little pink on her skin. So I used um, the Jane Davenport's uh, Lit Up Palette, and I used that color right there with a little makeup brush. So um, make sure that's the one I want to use. Yeah, I think so. So just making sure because you know what this had another color it had some blue on it I'm looking for the right brush I might have to get myself another one just a second here's another pink brush okay so I'm gonna take a little bit of this here and you want to touch it very very lightly if I put this on right now it would just um, if I put that on just now, it'd be way too dark. So I just got a little bit on my brush there. You want to just wipe it off on a piece of paper just so you have a little bit on there. Okay. So right here above her little breastuses, <laughs> I already hit it with a little bit of color there. Here and a little here. Um, I hit a little bit right here on her arm already. I hit a little here. Okay, and I want to hit some on her stomach, right in the middle. Okay, so I just did a little bit there. And there's so some went there, some went here, there, and then I did some on her arm right here. Okay, I'll do a little bit on her arm here. I just think it looks pretty to bounce some color, like the color that you see. Um, in the hair or even in her eyes you can those that you can throw a little color on the skin here and there and it looks like the color is bouncing off of the hair in my opinion and this whole thing so okay so that's just a little extra there and then um on her lips i left off i remember i, I was telling talking to you guys about that i just do a little bit of pink on her lips i can't even tell you the pink i used i used to use a little bit of pencil but i do need to add a little bit of, sh of uh, some highlights on her lips so let me do that really quick so I just used one color on her lips, a little bit of a pencil. Usually I like to use pencil, like I used to like to use watercolor and then outline them with the pencil, like a lip liner. But her lips are so small that it just wasn't working out. So I just did a solid color and we'll throw some highlights on it and call it a day. So I'm just taking a look with my liner brush and a little bit of white acrylic paint. And we're just going to throw some highlights on here on our lips. That's it. Real quick and easy. Simple. Another thing is um, this that same pink color. I, I did her cheeks. I just want to add a little bit more color back on her cheeks because I feel like I've kind of wiped it off a little bit. Perfect. Let me just put a little more color. This one right here. Very nice. Okay. So that is it there. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I want to go to the body. And let me tell you what I've done already. I took this is her um this the turquoise palette, Jane Davenport. I love it. It's my favorite palette of hers. I think I have two of these. Yeah, I do. Um, 
And last week, all the Jane Davenport new, the new line and the old line was all 50% off. So I'm not sure this week if it's still 50% off, but I went back and doubled up on things. Like I bought two of this palette because it's my favorite one, the birthday palette. So see, I just bought another one of those. So I spent maybe 10 bucks on that. I'll show you two other things I bought. Oh, I can't. I'll do a little... I'll do a little review and I'll show you the, the, I got two more, another set of color sticks. She has two different colors of that. And the color sticks are like water soluble crayons. So I bought a whole nother set of those. Um, well, two sets of those. So I just kind of doubled up on the stuff that I really love. So just a little heads up. Okay. Where are we at on time? Okay. Um, I'm not going to stop the, I'm not going to stop the video. I'm not going to stop talking because what happens at about 25 minutes, my, this video it cuts off and just starts a new another one. So, uh, when it does, you guys, just go ahead and go to part two. Okay, so anyway, I'm using the Jane Davenport palette. That's the um, turquoise one. And I'm using a color called Fairy Tale, of course. So, um, that's this color here. I have it swatched out. And that's the one here. I put it here and I really watered it out a lot so I didn't use it full strength at all just so it was like gave me a nice pink wash okay so that's what I did there so I already put the pink wash on because you know to give myself a head start then I'm going to take Jane Davenport's kiss kiss pencil and this is what we're going to shade her with I've already started shading her right here okay so let's continue with the shading So on this side, I'm going to shade less. I shaded it heavier here. I'm going to do a little bit lighter shading here, which means I'm not going to go as far out here because this is all underneath like her, the, her, her mermaid tail and underneath her hair. So it'd be more shading here. And I believe this is just in my own head, less shading here. So, and then all this will be blended out with my blender pencil. I'm also going to put a little shading right here. All right, we need to blend that out. So let's blend. Okay, so we're going to blend this out. And when you blend this out, what's nice is it blends it out to another color, to the next, the next lighter shade. So you don't have to go and to blend this out, you don't have to go find the next lighter shade of pink. You just use this blender pencil and it blends it out for you. But if you want, you could go ahead and find the next lighter shade of pink and blend this out that way. But I love the blender pencil. And it also makes it so that, like, so suppose you have a small set of Prismacolor pencils. Then this way, you don't have to have so many pencils. You could have the one, the one color and then blend it out, and it blends it out in two or three shades lighter. So you don't have to have so many pencils. Okay. 
Okay. All right. I'm going to put some color here and then put some here and then blend it and leave it light in the middle. And just to kind of define that a little bit more, I'm going to take my process red and just put it right at the very top. Blend all that out, blend all that out, and blend all that out. You know, I'm liking that, adding that process red right there. Look how it really defines that. So I'm going to go over right around the edges with the process red, which is really like a magenta color, not process, it's really not red. I don't even know why they call it process red. And just give another definition of some more shading, kind of defining the shading even more. Look at that, that looks fabulous. I like that. Fabulous. See how that does that? Now I'm gonna take my blender pencil and blend that into the other pink that's there. So you can always deepen your shading. Like you can shade and then deepen it again. Which I think looks really good. Okay, so let's take the process red and do the same thing here. Oh, one other thing I want to do right in the center here. Throw a little white there. So it has a nice little highlight right there. Okay. Sorry if I'm sniffling, you guys. My nose is a little running a little bit. Okay, so again, let's take our blender pencil and kind of blend out. It'll blend real nicely into that pink that's already there. Very pretty you guys see that that looks gorgeous let's go to the tail right there I really like how the tail hits the hair and that looks cool all right so hopefully if I turn this you guys are still in frame nope you're not Okay, bear with me, please. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. All right, so the tail, here we go. I'm going to shade it with the lighter color first, the lighter pink color. And we'll go right over it again with the process red which I like to call magenta. Oh, 
Okay, and then let's blend that out. I almost got a little too crazy with the uh, with shading that. See how I didn't leave that center open? So I need to, I got a little overzealous. I need to open up that center so, you know, so it's not all shading. <laughs> I need to leave the center highlighted. So let me just use my eraser and come back in here and take some of that shading out. I got a little shading crazy right there. Okay, so let's blend, 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 blend again. 